my sweetheart. I was so worried about you earlier when I got your text. Are you feeling any better? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good, is it? I thought that this might happen, that you might come home and still feel a little bit upset and frustrated by your day. So, I actually did some research. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know what I researched? Okay. So, I looked up how it is how it is that we can decompress decompress after a really hard day at work mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. and if it's alright with you I'd like to try a few of the techniques to see if we can bring you to a space that sound all right? Yeah, yeah. I want to make you feel calm, calm, calm. Relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. And most importantly, safe. The very first thing that we can do to decompress after a really hard day at work is to create a space, a space of zen, <laughs> a space of zen in our homes. Mm. So, I think that lights turned down a little bit and with our lovely rainbow lights that just emit really gentle 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 glow that we can light some candles mm, light some candles and then we can have that soft warm golden light mm. and it will illuminate our faces for each other yeah mm -hmm. they say that people fall in love by candlelight shall we find out if it's true? <laughs> okay okay <laughs> And I would like to burn some incense. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have cinnamon and chocolate. Chocolate, which is my favorite. But I thought for the purposes of this evening, while we're decompressing, that Lavender would do the trick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that the scent and the smoke, the lovely incense smoke, would help you to feel more zen, more calm, 
scent around us, the two of us, that at this point you now associate the scent of jasmine with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I would say that jasmine is not just a happy scent for me, but it's a happy scent. A happy scent. <laughs> now that you have your tea and we've switched off our phones and put them aside, I would like to continue with creating a space of sin mm -hmm. by guiding you through a breathing exercise. I know, I know, they always work so well for you, so I thought, let's try again, and this time it's a little bit different, okay? So, rather than breathing in through your nose, and out through your mouth, I want you to breathe in through your nose, and out through your nose, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's revolutionary. <laughs> okay. And while you do it, I want you to put your hand on your belly, okay? Put your hand on your stomach, mm-hmm, yeah. And when you breathe in, fill your lungs and fill your belly, okay, mm -hmm. and when you breathe out, I want you to feel yourself emptying, okay, all right, so, remember with your hand, your hand on your belly, in through your nose, out through your nose, you ready? <laughs> In through your nose and fill, fill, fill your lungs. Feel your belly expand and then out through your nose, out through your nose and feel yourself. Again, breathe in through your nose and breathe in the sin, breathe in the lavender and the jasmine. Fill up out through your nose and empty, empty of your stress, of your. 
your worries, all your worries. Okay, once more in through your nose. Fill up, feel your belly expand, feel your lungs, and then out through your nose, out through your nose, and let go of your cares and your anxieties and your stress, your tension. safer. Alright. Okay. So, together, we have created for you a space of Zen. Okay. Now, don't forget to sip on your tea as you like, whenever. reaction to either the coconut oil or the lavender essential oil, right? In fact, you quite like it, right? Good. So, we are going to get nice and to recognize 
past success right. is really helpful in taking store of well your your job at large, you know, because it's just one day today and, and I know it was rough and I know that you were frustrated and upset. But if we look at all these other days at your job, right? How well have you been doing? Right? We've talked about it before so often, you know. We're always talking about our work. And I think we do pretty well for ourselves, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, you know. I think the, the progress and the impact that you achieve pretty much on a daily basis, it can't be ignored, right? Yeah, you have, you have so many successes. You have proven yourself capable on many occasions to not just your boss, but to your colleagues, to yourself, you know? Hmm. I mean, I'm sure you can think off the top of your head of at least three successes, you know, that were all you. You also have teamwork success, of course, but sometimes it was you, you know, just your your innovation. You should hold on to that. You should treasure that. Always. But especially at a time like this. Yeah. And then of course, the progress that you achieve. Mm. Yeah. always thinking outside of your comfort zone of, of work and life to come up with new solutions. You are so adventurous in your thinking, you know. You're not just a run-of-the-mill ideas guy. And when you do see those little failures that we all experience, you take them as an opportunity to regroup and rethink and learn, you know. It's, it's really a, a pleasure to actually see you at work when, you know, something doesn't quite go the way it was expected and you find a way, you find a way to see the future, see something different, you know, and that progress of failing, picking yourself up, and starting anew, that's much more part of your story than what happened today. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. And then, you know, the impact that you have, the impact that you have amongst your colleagues. Yeah. I mean, the way that you talk about the teamwork, you know, everyone pulls their weight more or less, but you're a really big component in teamwork coming to positive ends, you know, your projects reaching great fruition, yeah, and it motivates others, we both know it does, yeah. Mm-hmm, you see, yeah, I mean, that's also really really so helpful to actually just 
visualize, you know, bring to your mind different occasions where a colleague or even your boss has made some kind of comment or compliment about how you have a positive effect on those around you. You know, that's, again, that's so much more your work story. It's so much more an important aspect of your work life than the disappointments and the frustration from today. It's not easy, it's not easy to take the time and to say, okay, let me be mature, let me be calm, put everything in perspective. I get it. You know, sometimes you just want to vent and you just want to be a bit peeved and that's also healthy, you know, to get out of those kinds of big, frustrating feelings, you know, talk it through, um, express what it is, because of course when we're angry or sad or feeling some kind of really strong emotion, you know, it's, it's rooted in something we value being challenged or threatened. So yeah, you know, it is important to, to say, ugh, this was bad, and this was horrible, and this was unfair for X, Y, Z reason, you know. But the positive side is when you then use that, and you use it to move forward in a positive way, in a hopeful way. And I know you, I know you, you always find a way, you always find that possibility, that gap between failure or frustration, misinterpretation, and a way forward, a more positive, growing way forward. You've done it before and I know you absolutely, absolutely can do it again. Okay, so that was quite a relaxing little hand massage. Mm. But now I need to get the oil off of your hands and off of my hands. So, let's use I love this micellar water. I'll just tamp it into our cotton round and then, yes, let me clean each individual finger. There we go. Quite a bit of oil, I know. It's so, so lovely. Just for a little while to be so moisturized, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Almost done with this hand. Let's get the palm. <laughs> okay. I think we need another cotton round for the other side. Lovely little 
hand massage and we put things in a bit of perspective mm -hmm. so the only thing that I really have left to say on the subject right now is that I want you to always remember sweetheart that you 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 are not defined by your job no that's not good <laughs> you are not defined by your job you can be good at it you can have your good days you can have your bad days like today No matter how much pride or frustration, sometimes it's just a lot of frustration. No matter how it makes you feel or how much time you spend doing it, it does not wholly define you. No, no, no. It's part of your story. Spend your time, spend your life. Yes, it is important. It is. It is important. But it does not, not, not define you. It does not, 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 not define you. <sighs> it on your face, I can see it in your body language, yeah, <laughs> I can see it in your body language, but having said that, you, you did a great job tonight, <laughs> right, you succumbed to the sin space. Um, to the sin environment mm -hmm. and you did your breathing exercises with me yes you allowed yourself some self care sort of even though it's kind of me caring for you but sometimes just letting someone else help you can be a form of self care because not all of us let others in and let others help us so I count it as self-care and I'm proud of you I'm always proud of you I'm proud of you for how you handled today it wasn't easy it wasn't easy and I'm just so happy that I'm the person you come home to whether after a good day or after a bad day, I'm the one that you choose to come home to. And so, of all the jobs that you could do, <laughs> your job of making me happy, you are doing 